In this instructional video I will show you how to make a CAT6 crossover cable. What you will need is your CAT6 bulk cable, your pliers and crimping tool, cable tester that consists of two pieces and your CAT6 connectors that consist of two pieces also. First what you have to do, you have to cut off the jacket off of the cable. You have cut off the jacket, you have to get rid of the little plastic piece inside of the wire. You can use regular scissors to cut it off. Once you cut off the plastic piece, you have to put the individual wires in the correct order. Start off with green on the left hand side, blue and orange in the middle and brown on the right. Now you have to put the wires into certain order. Start off with green on the left hand side. You have to have a green with a stripe, solid green. Orange stripe goes next, solid blue and a solid stripe. Then you have a solid orange, brown stripe and solid brown color ends on the right hand side. You have to get the individual wires as straight as possible. Best way to do that, take a regular pen and just slide them over and over again until they are all straightened up. Straighten up, you have to cut them. Best way to do that is to cut it in an angle so it's easier to work with. When you've cut them off, Take your CAT6 piece of the connector, which is this little plastic piece, and you have to slide each individual wire through the little holes. The best way to do this is to slide each individual wire inside of the plastic piece one by one. This is probably the hardest part of the entire process. During the process when you slide them out, you can take your pliers, hold the plastic piece and with another pliers just pull the, the wires through so you can get them all the way in. The wires pulled through the little piece, you have to take your scissors and cut off all the additional wires sticking out. When you have that, double check and make sure that your color codes are correct. Start off with orange stripe on the left hand side, solid orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, brown stripe and solid brown color all the way on the right hand side. Take your RJ45 CAT6 connector, slide the little piece inside of it. Make sure that, you, that it reaches all the way to the end. You can see that on the side when you flip the connector over. When you've done that, take your crimping tool and you can crimp on the connector. When you have both of the sides done, one of them is done by CAT6 specifications and one of them has a twisted pair of a crossover network. You have to make sure that the cable is working properly. For that we will use our two piece network tester. 
on the mini station the lights will jump back and forward which will indicate the crossover cable is working properly and on the main station the lights will go off once for every LED light. For more information you can visit us at the cables for sure blog.com or you can view our other videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching.